In Anaheim, California, this is Convention TV at NAM. Hi everyone, I'm Jill Nicolini for Convention TV at NAM, and this is the very special highlights edition of our show that's being broadcast on the final day of NAM in Anaheim. <laughs> what makes it so very special is that today we are simultaneously streaming this broadcast to desktops, iPads, and cell phones of all 12,000 readers of the Music and Sound Retailer magazine. If for some reason you haven't watched it at home or at work, well, get on it. What's cool for me is that I get to do TV for you NAMIs all the time instead of just at these shows. So all you gotta do is go to msretailer.com slash vnewsletter anytime, any day. It's also very cool. All right, let's start looking back at some of the product news, people, and events that were a big part of the show here in Anaheim the last three days. Take a look. Is this the age of acquisitions or what? There's sure a lot of M&A action to report this year. Definitely, Jill. There are several new marriages happening this year. Now, for instance, KHS America has acquired Honer. And as you know, Honer is the exclusive North American provider of Honer branded instruments, sonar drums, Lonnie Kai and Koala ukuleles, as well as many other products and brands. Now, transfer of ownership happened on January 12th, but eventually, Honer brands will integrate with KHS America's brands. And long term, KHS will integrate the teams and business processes, you know, aiming for combined operations in one facility. Now, I'm going to go see what more I can find out about this story. Tabor, can you tell me what this acquisition is going to mean for each company as well as for uh, retail customers? Sure, I, I'd be happy to. When we uh when we first started looking at the idea of putting these two companies together, the first decision to be made was, are we, are we stronger together than we are as separate companies? So Clay, and, Clay Edwards, president of Honer, and I sat down. We spent a lot of time together going over uh, each of the companies, and we discovered real quickly that, first of all, the cultures are very similar, and, uh, and our focus on the customer is strong with, with, with both companies. So it, it just made perfect sense. So from a, from a company standpoint, in both cases, both companies win by, by moving together. From the customer standpoint, short term, there'll be, there'll be no difference. I mean, the, the company is gonna operate, both companies will operate individually, uh, just as we have been, business as usual. Over time, though, we have a very unique opportunity uh, to, to put these companies together in such a way that really no one else can do. Again, partly because of the brands, but mostly because of the people. Both teams are very, very strong. Here's a book DVD pack that'll make sure you never have the blues. I'm talking about Hal Leonard's Chicago Blues Rhythm Guitar, The Complete Definitive Guide. It's by Steady Roland, Bob Marglin, and blues author historian Dave Rubin, and it's here at the show. The book features loads of rhythm guitar playing examples to learn and practice. It covers a variety of styles, techniques, tips, and historical anecdotes. And every playing example in the book is performed on the DVD by Bob himself. You want to play rhythm guitar on a traditional blues session, a traditional blues record, this is the book. Maybe uh, sort of like Delmark Records or Alligator Records. And uh, so we went out and tried to find really uh, the authority on Chicago blues rhythm guitar and we got the guy Bob Margolin, steady rolling Bob Margolin, uh, Muddy Waters rhythm guitar player for many years, uh, was kind enough to author this. Uh, we teamed him up with Dave Rubin, great blues writer, historian. Uh, terrific book, uh, lots of text, lots of music notation. Uh, Bob went into the studio and did a video demonstrating everything. Uh, did a great job. Uh, licks, rhythm parts, uh, standard notation and tab. Zildjian's expanded their FX line of cymbals with five new models, and everyone's excited. The company's 10-inch and 12-inch FX spiral stackers are paper-thin in weight, and they have an appealing visual spiral effect when played. The 8-inch and 10-inch FX Oriental China trash models offer thin-weight mini China cymbals that can be used alone or stacked with other cymbals. Finally, there's the seven and a half inch Volcano Cup Zilbel, which offers a mid-tone option. It's crafted from Zildjian B20 alloy. 
The GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition is specially designed to capture live music. It features a microphone with increased dynamic range and an audio algorithm that ensures smooth, natural recording and delivers high resolution 4K 30 and 2.7K 50 video at 1080p 120 resolution. ProTune settings for video and photos allow for manual control of color, ISO limit, exposure, and more. Mount it to your instruments, mic stands, or other stage equipment during a show to bring your fans on stage for an up-close and immersive experience. And we'll be back right after these messages. Hey! Hey you! Over here! Yeah, yeah, over here! Here I am! Now try to do that with an ad in the daily. See it, hear it. TV works. Before we take it back to you in the studio, Jill, I had to make my way over to Gibson to talk to Niels over here right now. Niels, what do we need to know about Gibson Pro Audio this year? Welcome, Laura, here at the Gibson Brands booth. Yeah, the big thing from Gibson Pro Audio this year is the Gibson Les Paul reference monitor. And the concept and the idea that has triggered this monitor is, uh, you know, we looked at the engineer, the producer, the audiophile fan, the artist, everybody who's surrounded with great music. And so we thought, what do all these people share in common? And they all have the dream of a great, reliable reference monitor. And then we looked at Gibson, you know, blending tradition and innovation since decades. The classical Les Paul guitar with the octop design, the sun paint, all these design elements, we thought, wh why don't we combine that with superior speaker technology? And that's how this whole idea has been born. And the Gibson Les Paul reference monitors comes in three different sizes, a four inch, a six inch, and an eight inch cone on the, on the woofer. And they also come in three different colors. And every model is going to be available in all three different colors. Yep. Now you can get rid of the wires and mix thoroughly. Mackie's DL32R is a 32-channel wireless digital mixer with iPad control. This powerful digital mixing system is completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's Master Fader iPad app. We start with 32 of our Onyx Plus mic pre's, loads of DSP, and all of that controlled from the iPad. We have incredible built-in recording functionality, either direct to a hard drive or right to your Mac or PC. The small form factor makes it portable in a small 3U package and virtually eliminates the need for a snake or a front of house. So we have incredibly fast and intuitive mixing interface, making it fast to navigate, adjust your channels, and see everything you need at once. Good story. Thanks, Melora. Showgoers are buzzing about a new mini moving spot head fixture from Blizzard Lighting called Lil G. It comes packed with many of the same high quality features found in larger professional fixtures just for a much lower price. Frank, I am loving the Blizzard booth this year, but we are here to talk about the Little G. Tell me what I need to know. Well, we're excited to be back here at NAMM in the arena. We came out with numerous new products this year, but especially the new moving yoke Little G. It has seven colors plus white, as well as nine static gobos that you can overlap your colors and your gobos. The 40 watt LED is one of the brightest LEDs in a moving yoke fixture for its price point. Let's hear it for American manufacturing. Kaiser Musical Products has launched a line of American-made guitar straps. These straps feature the Capo Keeper, which is a front elastic leather slip for secure storage of your Kaiser quick change when not in use. Now the Capo Keeper can also easily and securely hold a guitar slide or harmonica. They're 100% made by hand here in the USA. They're made with recycled leather and custom printed poly twill with an extra layer of padding in between. So when you put it on, you get that really comfortable, like your old chair, just something that you're used to and 
and feels really great on, on the back of your neck. There's also an extra long tail that you can quickly adjust from 45 inches to 55 inches. So if you're changing between electric guitars or acoustic guitars, you can just make that change with one hand. When it comes to the DJ market, there is one brand that continues to push the boundaries of engineering to help satisfy DJ's thirst for technology. You can just tell the guys that work at this company just love doing what they do. I'm talking about the gang at Pioneer, and Melora got to catch up with the gang leader, Davey Dave. Jill, I am indeed with Davey Dave right now. It happens to be one of my most fun interviews every year at NAMM. Davey Dave, what's going on with Pioneer in 2015? Melora, what's up? Always good to see you. Um, well, we're introducing this year a couple new headphones. One of them is HDJ 2000 Mark II, top of line headphone. But we're also showing something really cool. It's a XDJ RX. It's our all-in-one DJ system with for record box. Really, really cool. You're really, really cool, and so is Pioneer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> And yes, we'll be back again, so please stay tuned for more NAM highlights news here in Anaheim. In celebration of our golden anniversary, PV Electronics announces limited 50th anniversary editions of two of our most successful guitar amps, the Classic 30 and the 6505 Plus. Built by PV Artisans in Meridian, Mississippi, each amp is numbered and comes with a certificate of authenticity signed by Hartley PV himself. Also new for 2015 are the 6505MH and Classic 20MH mini heads. Get the legendary tones of these iconic amps in a highly portable package. Join us in room 201AB as we celebrate half a century of the world's most innovative products. What if there was no fixed front of house? What if there was no need for a snake? What if everything was controlled wirelessly? This is the Mackie DL32R. DJ RX. Pioneer DJ's new record box DJ system. Check it out now at the Pioneer DJ booth in Hall B. Jill, we are kicking off today's show over here at Alvarez with my very good friend Chris. Chris, I know we've been talking about some you know great stuff happening this year, but mm -hmm. explain to me what this double 50 is all about. Okay, Melora, we've got uh, two anniversaries this year. Firstly, it's Alvarez's 50th anniversary, formed in 1965. Uh, this is the 1965 series from Alvarez to celebrate 50 years. Solid Sitka spruce with acacia backs and sides and handcrafted abalone purfling. Secondly, it is the anniversary of the Grateful Dead, the iconic Grateful Dead. And uh, there's been a close connection there for a few decades between Grateful Dead and Alvarez. Uh, Jerry Garcia and Bob Weir played our guitars for a long time. Bob still does. And their management came to us uh, last year through an idea from Bob to hopefully make some uh, 50th anniversary Grateful Dead models focusing on uh, the artwork that's been generated by the band and their followers over the last uh, 50 years. So, of course, we, we said yes straight away. Thanks, Mel. Let's get into more news right away. One company that always makes a splash at NAMM is Presonus, and this year the company has announced two new Studio Live AI mix systems. They deliver large format channel counts, recording, powerful DSP, and more. Wesley, what are you guys mixing up this year over here at Presonus? Well, we're really excited to introduce our new Studio Live AI mix systems. They take advantage of our cascading feature that we added to all AI mixers uh, last spring that allows you to take two AI mixers and create one big mixer. So we have a 64 AI and a 48 AI, and uh, you basically get two mixers cascading together with a firewire connection, and you get one great big console that behaves as one console. So um, the 48 AI and the 64 AI will be available next month. They come with a PRM1 microphone, a joining adapter, and a custom cover and actually right behind me here is a 64 AI and we actually recorded Sammy Hagar's birthday concert with it this year so it's in the field working right now available next month let's give him a hand Vic Firth has introduced the new Vic gloves a quality drumming glove with unique features the glove protects the players hands while improving their grip and it's all without sacrificing feel admittedly I am NOT a drummer but I am very fascinated about this Vic Firth Vic glove 
and, and what the benefits are for drummers to wear it. Well, drummers, first of all, are looking to protect their hands when they wear a glove. But what's unique about this one is that it also improves your grip and keeps you nice and cool. Made with premium Cabretta leather, it's nice and smooth. The backing is a nice lightweight mesh. Ventilated palm where we most typically would sweat, so that gives us a little access to some air. But what really is special is the little special gripping points, little rubber gripping points on the forefinger and the thumb that improves our grip. Get unplugged with the Angelico Guitar's new acoustic series. These instruments pack both style and substance. They're anything but your typical stripped down acoustic. We have grand auditoriums, dreadnoughts, we have jumbos, and also we have an acoustic bass featuring Fishman Inc. 4 pickup system with a tune built-in tuner brass bridge pins licensed by FU Tone, strung with Diodario strings, and of course the quality that you expect from a D'Angelico guitar. They also come in a variety of slick finishes, including vintage sunburst, gray black, cherry sunburst, classic black, and natural wood gray. Who said acoustics can't be electrifying? We'll be right back. Please stay tuned for more NAM highlights news right here in Anaheim. Check out the new Gibson Les Paul reference monitors, which combine superior performance, iconic styling, and come in three different sizes and colors. Find them at booth 300B on the third floor. At Sennheiser, we've been in the pursuit of the perfect sound for 70 years, and we're not ready to stop because we have a vision to shape the future of audio. Visit us at booth 6577. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has been growing. Please stop by booth 6200, check out our new Ergo mic, mixers, and DSPs. The Rain MP2015 represents a perfect marriage of high-quality rotary control surface, state-of-the-art digital signal processing, and dual 24-channel USB sound cards. Check it out at Rain Boost 6528. Welcome back to the Highlights Edition of Convention TV at NAM. The program is independently produced by Testa Communications, the publisher of the music and sound retailer DJ Times and Sound and Communications magazines. TV at NAM is transmitted throughout convention hotels and on the floor of the show 24 hours a day with a brand new show each day. So again, we thank you for watching us the past few days and oh, please remember to tell all your associates and friends to check their emails or go to msretailer.com slash vnewsletter and continue to get the latest MI product news and sometimes even gossip that's not available anywhere else but on the retailer's V newsletter. So with 12,000 viewers each month, it's the industry's first and only V newsletter and again, it's broadcasting concurrently with the show. Now let's get back to our highlights show. Before we go back to the studio, I wanted to come over here to QSC to hang out with Dale. Dale, let's talk about the GXD series of processing amplifiers. What do you think is important for us to know? Well, first of all, these are a brand new series of amplifiers. They actually just started shipping today. And uh, um, they're new lightweight Class D amplifiers from QSC with built-in digital signal processing. Very easy to use front panel interface, very easy to see in, uh, metering on the front panel, and then you can easily dive into the signal processing menus, go in, select limiter for example, select your loudspeaker power, and make adjustments, and it's as quick and easy as that. It's very simple, easy to use. Four new models join Casio, Selviano, and Privia digital piano lines here at the show. You've got um, actual simulations of real places so you can select from the front panel like a Berlin concert hall and actual places that are really amazing to give your, your sound just that much more life. It's, it's fantastic. Last but not least, two of the models have something called concert play. Uh, there's actually audio recordings with and without piano with uh, a symphony orchestra that you can play along with. And so there's a whole learning aspect to it as well. You can, you can slow things down. There's a practice mode so you can learn the pieces. Uh, sheet music's included, but to hear yourself playing along through the, you know, the great speaker system with the symphony orchestra in your home, it's amazing. If you're
you're looking for entry-level microphones that include advanced design features, then look no further. Shure is introducing a new comprehensive line of microphones called the PJ Alta. The line includes 14 new products, including vocal and instrument microphones, drum kits, and a studio kit. We've refreshed and updated our PG line of microphones, added some really exciting new products, uh, as well as updated the current ones. So this is our PGA 181 microphone. It's designed to have a uh, smooth, tailored frequency response for a wide variety of sources. Uh, pretty much anything a home recordist is going to come across, this will be a great choice for it. So this is a new PGA 98H. Uh, it comes in a XLR version or a TA4F for connection with our wireless systems. Really sturdy, flexible gooseneck, shock-mounted capsule, uh, really sturdy, excellent, very versatile uh, clip here. It clamps on any bell of a trumpet or horn or saxophone. So this is the brand new PGA-98D. It's a clip-on tom condenser, a really nice little drum mount here, mounts onto any standard drum or uh, suspension mount. Um, and like I said, they hit some really affordable price points, but they are sure products through and through. There's no mix-up. You can harness the power of studio quality sound without leaving your home or office, all thanks to Phase X's latest desktop audio production systems. The PX300 and PX600 deliver studio caliber mixing, editing, and mastering performance. Both are based on our very recently patent-granted uh, Shadowcaster system, which prevents desktops from uh, developing comb filtering. Diffusive angles is, is all about making sure that the reflection of the speaker never happens from the desktop, but rather from these surfaces where it's both diffused and weakened and tossed away into some place that is not your head. We're using a lot of DSP to straighten out the speakers and make sure that uh, both uh, models, which are three ways, not two ways, with zero stored energy, uh, produce extremely flat, extremely accurate audio. And both systems are fully compatible with PC and Mac and can be integrated with today's top digital audio workstations. All right, let's go back to Melora. She just texted me something from the show floor. What's going on, hon? I did indeed, Jill, and the reason is is because I have with me a very special guest, Larry Morton, who is NAMS chairman and also the president of Hal Leonard. Larry, please update me on the latest NAM news. NAM's got it all going on. We're having a great show. We got off to a big start with a day of service at a local Anaheim school that lost its music program. 70 NAM members came in early to help get that program starting uh, again. NAM members are filling up the show floor. Lots going on with educational sessions, new products. So we're setting the stage for a really big year. Also in May, we'll be in Washington, D.C. calling on Congress to support music education. So a lot of great events that will lead to the Nashville NAMM show in July. And we're very excited about 2015. And we'll be back in a few minutes with our final segment of highlights and bloopers from Convention TV at NAMM 2015. Please stand by. PV Electronics revolutionized the working man's loudspeaker with the SP-1 in 1975. Now PV once again sets a new industry standard with the release of our Dark Matter Advanced DSP powered speaker enclosures. Celebrating 50 years in business under the leadership of founder Hartley PV, our new products for 2015 feature groundbreaking technologies like Anteras Auto-Tune. Join us in room 201AB today as we celebrate our ongoing legacy of innovation. DJ RX. Pioneer DJ's new record box DJ system. Check it out now at the Pioneer DJ booth in Hall B. Jill, I'll tell you, I definitely got a chance to see a huge collection of incredible women that certainly rock and did rock here at two nights She Rocks Awards. And I, what, most importantly, let me tell you, I got a chance to hang out with Laura B. Whitmore, who is you know, the founder of the Women's International Music Network and, and the woman behind, really, this incredible event. Let's see what she has to say. Laura, first of all, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Tell me, um, tell our NAMM TV viewers a little bit about what they can expect for this uh, award show and as well as, like, why is this so important to you, the She Rocks Awards? 
Well, this year, the award show has really beefed it up. I mean, we've got some wonderful women in the industry that we're honoring, including Amani Duncan from Martin, Craig Zildjian from Zildjian, um, Gail Beacock from Beacock Music, you know, just some really wonderful behind the scenes sort of uh, women in the industry. Plus, we've got some amazing performers this year who are also being honored. So we're honoring Colby Calais, who's going to perform. We've got the Bengals. It's their 30th anniversary, so they're going to rock out. Mindy A. Bear, who's nominated for a Grammy this year, is going to be here. Orianthe is my co-host. And even the house band is led by the amazing Gretchen Men and her band. It's just, like, blows my mind. You know, all these people volunteer their time to be here, and it's, it's just wonderful that they're so supportive. And you know, that's the idea of the event, is to shine a spotlight on female role models and get women to feel inspired to work together and to lift everybody in the industry up, men and women. So this support just makes me so happy. <laughs> well, you should be happy, you deserve it, and it is inspiring. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Thanks so much, Melora. It seems like you had an absolute blast hanging with some of our fellow ladies in the MI industry. Meeting customer demand for a 12-inch rim, Deering has added the Americana open back banjo to their good time line of banjos. A banjo is a super fun instrument, but can you tell me why I'm going to have such a good time with this banjo? Oh, well, our good time banjos are made in the U.S., and this is our brand new Americana banjo just released for the show. Our standard rims on our banjos are 11 inches, but this bit banjo features a 12-inch diameter rim. The larger rim gives a more bass response, more low end frequencies coming out, just like a, um, a larger speaker or a kick drum versus a tom would. One of the features of the good time at banjos in general is the three ply violin grade maple rim. And so this it's the only banjo in this price point with three with this type of rim. And this type of maple has been used on some of the best violins in the world uh, for years and so it's really resonant. Digging deeper into the cachet of desirable classic organ tones, EHX's C9 organ machine offers nine new organ presets utilizing the same technology found in the B9 organ machine. More flavors for a different player, like this time we have the Mellotron flutes, uh, a tone wheel organ, uh, an early synthesizer, and things like a John Lord sound from Deep Purple. got two volume controls, one for your dry guitar signal and one for your organ signal. And the mod uh, control here basically just controls the speed of your modulation, whether it be a tremolo or the rotary sound. Um, and then the click here, it just controls the volume of the percussive click. Then this is just going to be your uh, mode selector right here, scrolling through all nine different organ sounds. The Doug Pinnock Signature Ultra Bass 1000 from Tech 21 is a two-channel bass amp head. It recreates Doug Pinnock's signature sound, which he perfected by running a guitar amp and bass amp together. It uses two channels, one that mimics a distorted guitar amp and one that provides conventional bass sound. When both channels are run in combination, the result is high-end distortion with low-end bass. So 1,000 watt bass amplifier developed with Doug Pinnock. Uh, Doug has a very complicated rig to achieve his tone, and what we were able to do is, is uh, put every single element of his rig into one single amplifier to get his tone. So the signal path goes through a high-pass filter and low-pass filter to split the frequency ranges, and the top channel is your distortion channel. The bottom channel is the clean channel. It goes through a compressor and uh, bass mid-range controls. There's a level control for each channel to achieve the mix, along with the master volume. A lot went on here these past four days, and for those of you who want to check out what you may have missed, when you get home, go to conventiontv.net, sit back and check out all four days of Convention TV at NAM. Okay, so now in the last highlight section, maybe we can find some of the footage that brought smiles to our faces as we were putting those shows together. Yep, it's time now for 2015's Convention TV at NAM's Blooper Reel, check it out. Well, you're the pro, I'm the amateur. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Before we take it back to you in the studio, <laughs> what's a metronome? It's a little guy who lives in the city. <laughs> Thank you for participating in my cornballness. Admittedly, admittedly, admittedly. <laughs> you got, mm-mm-mm. <laughs> These have you been to, Vinny? Come on, fess up. Yeah, Joe Lamont said 34, so Vin. I just wanted to, okay, you don't have to be exact. Was it? 
radio days or was there black and white television? <laughs> there goes my ad rate, okay. <laughs> Shh. Sorry. Shut up. You shut up. I'll bring my own vacuum. I'm coming. It's hard to find big men that like, right. you know, are we doing this, Frank? Yeah, doing Come on, let's get serious. Three. I'm gonna stalk you, bitch. Steve, uh, hello. <laughs> These are the ones that almost killed me. <laughs> I fell blood. twice in 24 hours. I think she's... <laughs> I gotta kill me. She's trying to it's kill me. The, I think... <laughs> Somebody couldn't pay rent. I know that's a lyric. It was a name that has been a major figure in the... And that's all ball. over now. Now he's at this show's Nam. This show's Nam. <laughs> this year's Nam. I'm fired. Back that up. Long standing string and amplifier company. Okay. Hello. We're friends. I'm not saying ukulele, man. Ukulele. Ukulele. You're turning Japanese. If I said ukulele, you can. We don't need that line. That's gone. Say <laughs> we're young and we don't know. NAM or the National Association of Music. Musics. I know my NAM. Music me commercial Joe. All right. <laughs> He's just a little guy. Hey. If I really need to stop this. Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're being inappropriate. <laughs> That's all right. It is okay. Yeah. It's the first interview of the day. Yeah. Got to kick it music, off with a little we're spice. In the music industry. Hell I yeah, we I are. I need brie and vegetable smoothies. <laughs> I don't know what that is anymore. Oh. I'm a nice girl. <laughs> How do you expect me to soar like an eagle when I'm surrounded by pigeons? <laughs> no pants. Dance. <laughs> Did you have a nice lunch? I, you know, I just crammed that last bit of burrito. Who doesn't want to talk about vibrating metronomes? You can synchronize your vibrations. Yeah, vibrations, so it's for bachelor at parties, you know. Like a bear, I'm like, what's up, babe? I'll definitely go to that party. People have researched this. There's been, it's been tested. Are you giving this away? <laughs> Pigeons. They say we're young and we don't know. I don't like. Before we're done, I think we'll know. That's definitely not the lyric. <laughs> Well, that's it for day four, our highlights and V newsletter broadcast of the Convention TV at NAM. I'd like to thank Dan Farisi of the Music and Sound Retailer for his fine writing and reporting for these shows, and of course to my TV cohort and friend, Malora Donahue. We at Test of Communications want to wish you all the best in the new year, health, happiness, peace, and prosperity to you and yours. I'm Jill Nicolini, and for everyone here at Test of Communications, we thank you for watching. I think Moscow is just a great city, You're really rapidly developing. It kind of reminds me a little of the rapid economic pace of Shanghai and Beijing. This is such a, a large territory, such a, I mean, it's like, I think it's 9,000 kilometers east to west, so how on earth do you go and see everybody? So if you're in one place, people can come and see you. It's cool. We like it. Uh, because uh, here we have uh, kind of more artistic atmosphere. And we are glad to stand here alongside with uh, major vendors of uh, professional uh, audio, video, light and uh, everything. It's, our guitars, it's important that you see them, that you feel them, not only see a picture on a website. That's the big advantage of being here. It was a good opportunity for us to demonstrate our equipment, to present all our new products, to meet our potential partners, and to meet the lighting designers who are really important for us. I think this is just the perfect venue to break into the market for anyone in the music industry. The NAM show is a world famous uh, exhibition, so uh, it's a great pleasure to be here.